Hey, what up? Welcome back, everybody. How we doing today? So first things first, I was looking back at my thumbnails and they look atrocious. Like I look like I'm blurting something out. Like I have, I know I gesticulate a lot when I talk, but my goodness, they look bad. And um, like I said, I don't have a laptop. So all the editing I do is on my phone. If you can even say I do any editing whatsoever. I'm still trying to figure out what I can do as for phone editing. But as for today's discussion, we will be talking about where should magicians begin? Or if you think you can be Starting to do magic, where should you start? Um, I started on YouTube. Well, not here, like, my channel started. I mean, I started by watching other people who was really big at the time is Mrs. Mag882. And he doesn't really post anymore. He posted so many things, and he was iconic. Every video is like, hello again, everybody. And always a good card trick tutorial. Um, a few of them I still use to this day in some tricks. Maybe, like, not, like, my go-to, but, like, a nice fun trick here and there. How to Disturb Reality, aka Jarek120. Um, he stopped posting for quite a long time, around my sophomore year, and he started posting again recently. More into wrestling and all that. But um, had very good things. 52 cards is an essential of anyone who's learning magic, not just because of what he teaches is like so well performed and executed. It's also that he just has advice. I mean, he started from really humble beginnings. I remember like, this will be a great channel. I promise you, stick around. I mean, I remember going back he wants to go and just watching like his first video and it's like he just had that drive about him and he's contributed so much to magic honestly and playing cards are great but i mean ever since he started he's only been on a roll he's been getting on top of things now he has like guest magicians on his shows had jay sankey has chris ramsey he's had i think alex pandrea on there a few times but Great. Oh, and speaking of other YouTubers, Alex Pandrea right there, Chris Ramsey, and other great people. What else could you do? You could um, buy DVDs. I mean, I know it's a little expensive to buy DVDs in the magic world. They are. I mean, there's Daryl's um, series, whatever. There's also Dan and Dave, the trilogy, which is my go-to to recommend to anybody. I have it. That was one of the first DVDs I ever bought. Expert at the card table. Today, still regarded as a staple of magic and sleight of hand and gambling. I mean... Dave Vernon literally learned about it when he was six years old, and he basically put it to memory, and that's what made him so great. It's what inspired him to be a magician. And to this day, it's still so much to do with magic, even though to this day we actually don't know who wrote it, but that's a topic for another day. Um, Reddit. I didn't use Reddit until like two years ago, and when I did, I was astounded. See, there's this huge community for magic. There's um, our magic, there's our card magic, there's our mentalism, but I don't do mentalism, so I don't subscribe to that. There's our card magic, there's our playing card market, what I talked about in the last episode. But in there, there's this like big guide, and it's like um, things we recommend for readers, for beginners, things we recommend for intermediate, things we re recommend for advanced. Um, here's crowd control and basically how to perform, like confidence, things like that. And that was just great. And there's always people giving feedback. Like, you'll post a trick and people will be like, all right, um, focus on this. Focus on flashing. Focus on speed. Uh, don't put your hand there. It looks a little fishy. Sometimes it might come off as, like, them being like, mm-hmm, I shoot you did there. You thought you fooled me. You think you're slick, but you're not. But they're honestly trying to help. Like, honestly, like I said, magic is one of those fields where everyone just really does help each other out. Like, it's just this really inclusive field. It went from being a thing where it's like, ha, I fooled you, ha, ha, see, you don't know how I did, I'm so smart too, and like, now it's just like, this art that we do, magic is an art, I, I will never say it's not, I've always tried to tell people that, the art of magic, um, but yeah, YouTube, friends, uh, obviously, if you have any friends that do magic, or even just a little bit of sleight of hand, go off them, maybe you'll surpass them quickly if they don't know that much, but still, um, Reddit, you can probably find a few websites here and there. I mean, I know there's like the Card Trick Teacher website and some other ones you can find if you're just randomly looking for card tricks. But my big two are usually YouTube and Reddit. If you have a magic store near you, talk to the owner. I mean, honestly, they're so helpful. I have one near me and the guy was just a big help in helping me find routines or like I told him what kind of magic I like to do. He recommended DVDs or he would do a trick for me himself. I'd ask, how'd you do that? Obviously, he wouldn't tell me, but like, oh, he's like, maybe look into this DVD. But don't go in it, go in by yourself. Like, you know what I mean? Don't just go into magic, not knowing what you're doing. Don't have a, like, 
without a game plan, basically. You have people there that are going to help you. Um, first off, learn the basics, obviously. You're going to want to do how a Charlier cut, um, pressure fan, riffle fan, bridge, the whole nine yards, everything. And then once you get on from that, you can learn whatever you want in any order you want. People are going to tell you, oh, you should learn this trick first, and then this trick. That's not true. I feel like with magic, you can just have your own gut feeling and learn any magic trick you want in any order you want. Obviously, if you do that, if you want to do it for a harder trick, that's going to take you a lot harder to learn if you don't know like some of the foundations of that trick. But I can't tell you, and I can't sit here and say, learn this trick first, or you should learn this trick, this trick, and this trick. No, you don't have to. It's all about gut feeling. I like to mix a little bit of cardistry with my magic, and I do some tricks that not other people won't do. Like my opener is usually Deja Vu, or Chicago Opener, or 673 King Street by James Gallant. So those are my three favorite openers right there, because they just blow people away. Usually near the ending or middle of my performance routine, I usually do Ambitious Card Routine, close it out with maybe Sealed for Kiss or something like that, because I hate tricks that ruin cards, because like I said, I love playing cards. So those are kind of my last resort tricks or maybe a color change where i've already taped two cards or if you have um, the legacy playing cards the one of the cards is already a double backer that's with two different colors so really really useful but that is it um i just wanted to share some guides and like things you could do as a beginner magician who to look out for what to do and you know welcome to the welcome to community all right well if you like this video like share and subscribe see you guys next time